Hey friends and parents, June marks the beginning of an epic summer on Disney Plus, who is sponsoring today's story with fun-filled adventures like Disney's Baymax, Sneakerella, Proud Family, Louder and Prouder, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, as well as Ice Age, Scrat Tales. Definitely looking forward to our summer Friday family movie nights where we grab the pillows and the popcorn and oh, good times. Oh, and definitely Baymax. Kind of wish Baymax was on the spy team. How about you? Well, friends, all of these and more streaming this month on Disney+. Plus. Hey, friends, welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. If this is your first time, welcome to the family. My name is Mr. Jim, and I love critters of all shapes and sizes. And so if that sounds like you, we have got some adventures that are waiting for you. Every single week, we do five stories about critters of all shapes and sizes, and it's your job as a critter protector to complete all of our activities and challenges along the way. Well, friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. It was a beautiful, hot, sunny day in central Arizona, in the middle of the desert. Charles the Chickwalla was five years old, and even though he was bigger than many of his friends, he still wished he had found something he was really good at. Wait a second, I said Charles a Chuckwalla. Do you know what kind of critter a Chuckwalla is? Hmm, let's let's take some guesses. Do you think a Chuckwalla is a kind of lizard or a kind of bird? Yes, it is a lizard. It's actually one of the largest Southwest desert lizards. It has a flat, dark body with loose folds of skin on its neck. Its skin, if you touch it with your fingers, feels like sandpaper. Wow, you might think he might need a little bit of lotion, but that is the way he's made with that special skin because it keeps him safe in the rocks. We will soon find out why that very rough skin is very important for Charles. On this very sunny, hot day, all the lizards in Charles' desert neighborhood were practicing getting ready for their sports. Have you ever played a sport before? Yeah, that can be a really fun thing to do outside or inside. Well, these lizards, there were all kinds of different sports for them to play. There were long distance runners, sprinters, the swim team, oh, and, and the high jumpers. If you were a lizard and, and wanted to be on one of those sport teams, what would you pick? Hmm, I might pick either the the sprinting team, like running really fast, or hmm, the swim team, because I like to jump in the water. What about you? Well, Charles had not quite figured out what he wanted to do, and he wasn't quite sure what he was good at, but he was determined to figure it out. Hey, Lewis! He shouted to his friend. Hey, Charles, what's going on? Said Lewis, the eastern collared lizard. What are you doing here? Well, I was just looking around and trying to figure out which sport I could try. They all look so fun, but I'm just not sure which one I'm good at. You should try out the running team with me, said Lewis. I bet you'll be super fast. Just come on. Let's do some practicing and stretching and do a couple laps around the track. How does that sound? Well, I'm not exactly sure how it'll go, but uh, sure, why not? Lewis, the eastern collared lizard, had been on the running team since he was very little, so he had a lot of experience about running very fast. Eastern collared lizards are pretty amazing critters, they have the amazing ability to run on their back legs. It looks almost like they're standing straight up, just like people. They're that fast. Charles the Chuckwalla did his very best for three hours of running practice. Whew, that is a lot of hours of running. Do you think you could run for three hours? Woof, that is a lot of running. But by the time practice was finished, Charles knew it wasn't for him. Okay. Hey, Lewis, I'm... I think I'm done for the day. That was super fun. Thanks for practice, but... Oh, I just... I don't think this is for me. 
Yeah, I understand, but thanks for running with me. It was great to have a running buddy. Uh, we should do it again sometime if you want to. <sighs> yeah. Thanks, Lewis. I just... I'll, I'll uh, let you know about that later. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll see you later. <sighs> As Charles the Chuckwalla walked away, he couldn't stop thinking of how awful that was. Oh, that was... Whoa, that was not... Definitely not my thing. I gotta... I gotta go to sleep and try again tomorrow. Charles the Chuckwalla went home and fell fast asleep. The next morning, he woke up and was ready to try something else. Hmm. What about swimming? Charles said to himself. Maybe that'll be my sport. I do have a nice long tail. That'll help me swim and... Yeah, I like that a lot better than running for three hours. On his way to the river for practice, he thought about how cool it would be to be a huge speedy lizard gliding through the water. But unfortunately, his daydream only got him so far. Hi, Charles. How's it going? Oh, hey, Sean. Sean was Charles's friend. He was a Sonoran tiger salamander and was an excellent swimmer. Since Charles wanted to try swimming, he knew that Sean would be the perfect teammate. Hey, Sean, it's great to see you. So yesterday, yeah, I tried to do some running um, with Lewis, and he's really fast and amazing. I'm just not built quite that way. Oh, yeah, me neither. He's very fast, well faster than me. I cannot run that far and fast, said Sean. Yeah, so I was thinking about swimming. I wanted to try swimming today. And I said to myself, who's the best swimmer I know? And it's Sean. It's you. So can you teach me how to swim? Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah, I would love to teach you how to swim. There's three things that I always remember. One, gotta learn how to hold your breath. Two, gotta lose big strokes with your arms and legs. And three, don't be afraid. Okay. Uh, yeah, holding breath. I can do that. Uh, and, and use my arms and legs. I can do that. Totally. T uh, t I can totally do th those things. Uh, don't forget about dark blue in your fold. Um, uh, okay. As Charles walked, Sean just easily jumped right into the water. It all just felt very different now that he was looking at the water from the edge of the ground and okay holding my breath using my arms and legs he was doing all the things except he had forgotten to jump in the water <laughs> he was holding his breath and moving his arms and legs but he was still in the sand oh uh, charles you, for you forgot to get in the water oh uh, you're right uh fine i don't think this is this this is not for me. I gotta I gotta try something else. But thanks for the help, Sean. Okay, we'll see you later. Sean the tiger salamander waved as Charles walked away. Hey, Charles. Hey, come on over here. That was the voice of Amari, the red-headed Agama. Looks to me like you're trying to find a sport. Why don't you try high jumping with me? Oh, uh, yeah. I think I can do that. And Charles tried another sport, high jumping. But unfortunately, he would quickly learn his body just wasn't built to jump really high. By the end of the afternoon, Charles was feeling very discouraged. Have you ever felt like that before? Like you were trying to do something and trying to do something you did for the first time and it was just really hard? Yeah. Well, as Charles slowly walked home, he really wished that he could find something that he was good at. His mind was racing through so many different thoughts, and he accidentally took the long way home, which was uh, uh, the, the scenic route. It was through some rocky outcroppings, and it was a beautiful place, but it was a much longer walk home. But just as he started to pass his favorite rocky basking area, he felt something swoop right over him. Whoosh! And peck his back! Ouch! Said Charles. He raced into the rocks. What in the world was that? 
Was that an eagle or a hawk or something trying to get him? I'm not sure, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. So what do you think about Charles, our Chukwala friend? All those new things that he tried, I'm glad that he gave him a try. Well, except for the swimming part. He forgot to get in the water. <laughs> Have you ever jumped in the water before? Oh, that can be a really fun thing to do, especially in the summertime when it's nice and hot outside and you can cannonball into the pool. Well, friends, I hope you uh, get a little splashy this week. And I hope you have a super duper day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.